Hey guys, what's up? Today we got a, a trig integral, and the trig integral is integral cos cosecant to the fifth times cosine cubed on uh, d theta. So both of those are theta. The trig strategy normally involves like sine and cosine to a power, but here we have cosecant and cosine. So if we remember that cosecant is actually related to sine, then it kind of starts to make sense. So this is going to be the integral of well, cosecant is 1 over sine, so that's going to be 1 over sine to the fifth power theta. And then I have sine and cosine. I'm going to go ahead and try my strategy. So the strategy is to pull off one of the cosines in this case. Because it's in the numerator, um, I would just pull off one of the cosines. And now I just set myself up for a substitution for uh, u equals or w equals sine theta. So I have to first convert my cosine squared to sine squared, 1 minus sine squared. So that's going to be 1 minus sine squared theta over sine to the fifth power theta times cosine theta d theta. And here we do a substitution. I'm going to let w equal sine theta and then dw will be cosine theta d theta. So I've set myself up for a substitution here. Here's my dw. And so this is going to be the integral of 1 minus e w squared over w to the fifth. So this is going to be the integral 1 minus w squared over w to the fifth power dw. And Simplify that with algebra first. We get 1 over w to the fifth power minus 1 over w cubed dw. Integrate both of those with the power law. That's going to be negative 1 over 4, 1 over w to the fourth power minus negative 1 over 2 w or 1 over w squared plus c. And so I can go back and say, okay, w was sine theta, so plug that in. We get negative 1 over 4, 1 over sine to the fourth power theta, plus 1 over 2, 1 over sine squared theta, plus c. And you can convert that back to cosecant and say that's negative 1 over 4 cosecant theta to the fourth power uh, plus 1 half cosecant squared theta plus c. And that's how we do it. Basically, the same strategy applies. I just first had to turn everything into sine and cosine. That's how we do it.